I'm going to show you a real smart person. A real smart person that, that, that I don't how much book learning they got, they going to go to God. If they got ideas about how things are supposed to happen, they're going to get their ideas and line them up and see if they're in line with God. That's a smart person. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying? So, so if I'm if I'm trusting God, if I'm truly trusting God, then my direction of how I'm to go is coming from God. I can't operate in the things of God from the information of the world. It's not going to happen. If I want to operate and 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 be successful for the kingdom of God, I have to get my information from the kingdom of God. Are y'all okay with that? Yes, we are. Many times we think that we're trusting God in a situation when in reality we're actually trusting man. The Bible instructs us that it is better to put our trust in God rather than man. Turn with me to Psalm 118 and 8. Psalm 118 and 8. Hallelujah. <coughs> Hallelujah. Now, now, I need to clarify something too while uh, y'all are turning this. <coughs> Go get an education. That ain't what I'm saying. <laughs> Go get book learning. That, that ain't what I'm saying. You need to learn. The more power, the more you know, the more power you have. But as far as your life being directed, you need to make sure it's directed by the Word of God. That's what I'm saying. Okay, we need knowledge. Knowledge is power. Even God says that. He said in Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So you need knowledge. Gain, learn about everything. I tell people when you go on a job, it's good to learn everything about that job. Sometimes we complain because people on the job have us doing something that's not in our job description. Well, that can work to your advantage because if your job description never closed, you can move into another department. Amen. You understand? So when I went on the job, I learned everything about that job. I even learned how to do the book work. So I, I, matter of fact, they moved me out of the field in, into doing the book work. But had I never took the time to learn it, I wouldn't have gotten that position. So it's good to learn everything. And even though it may not be in your job description, it's to your advantage because if your job description is closed, you can move to another department. All right, Psalm 118 and verse 8. We're saying that it's that the Bible teaches us that we're to, it's better to trust God than man. Mm -hmm. And it tells us that. Verse 8 says it is better to trust the Lord than to put confidence mm -hmm. in man. Mm -hmm. You know why? Right. Man, man, is, man is disappointed. All right? Even though their intention is right, even though they may have the right intention to, to help you in a situation, and I'm not saying that some people just back out. Some people just lying and, and they ain't going to do it. But then you have them that do want to help you. But something may come up and stop them from helping you. That's right. You know what I mean? Even, you know, somebody say, well, okay, man, I know you got a financial problem. So Friday when I get paid, I'm going to help you with your finances. Well, when they get paid Friday, something unexpected happened in their life. Where they have to use that finance. Where they have to use that money. And now you disappointed because you put all your trust in that in that person, and now they can't help you. But see, nothing can stop God. You understand? See, when you trust God, if if one avenue closed down, God got another one coming your way. You see what I'm saying? So we have to. It's better to trust in God than put your confidence in man. You understand? Trust. Put trust Him to provide everything you need. That's right. You probably know people that you can go to and get money, or you can uh, you can go to and, uh, and, and 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 get food or whatever. Let God direct you to the people. Let God direct you to the avenues because the ones that He has for you are sure. Mm -hmm. And He works through people now. Money ain't gonna drop out the cap. Mm -hmm. If you need money, He gonna have somebody lined up. He may put somebody on your heart. Mm -hmm. And you go to, and you know if it's from God because whatever is from God, whatever help that comes from God. I always use Proverbs 10.22 as a standard of judgment. It says, The blessing of the Lord, it makes it rich. In this part, it adds no sorrow. If there's sorrow behind this person has to miss, if there's a lot of harassment and a lot of pressure, that ain't God. You, you see what I'm saying? See, a lot of times, people do for you, but boy, the, the condition of them doing it. 
the condition of why they gonna do it. You know, you 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 basically got to drop your life in their hands. <laughs> well, that ain't God. Because the blessing of the Lord make it rich and add it no salt. And that's why it's good to trust God. You have people today that are in bondage to other people because they stepped out of the will of God and went on their own to get help. And now the help that they got, that people has put them in bondage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you trusted God and let Him direct you, you wouldn't be in bondage. You feel what I'm saying? So you have to ask yourself, do you really trust God? And do this part one. I thought I was going to get through it. This part one. <laughs> do part two. But you just, just constantly ask yourself and examine your life. Do I really trust God? In every situation, yes, examine yourself. Am I trusting God in this situation? Right. Yeah, Am I yeah. stepping out on my own? Am I putting a man or some institution in front of God? Mm -hmm. no, no, no. See, you have to examine that. You do, really. Because a lot of times, you, out of just an automatic reaction, you may just not be trusting God. You may be trusting an institution. You may be trusting a person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to examine yourself. See, we forget that every business or every uh, profession, every profession like nurses, Sherry and, and, and I mean the nurses, they have to examine everything that they do because they can't just go out and, 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 make, and, and make mistakes because they can talk to somebody else. So they have to examine their profession, they have to examine every action that they're doing. We have to, I don't know why we don't think as Christians we don't have to examine ourselves. We do. We have to examine ourselves. I'm telling you, you have to examine. You have to examine your words that's coming out your mouth right. because words are creative. Sure are. I said this last week, and I said it Wednesday. A lot of people say stuff, and they say, "Well, that ain't what I mean." But the Bible doesn't tell you. Jesus didn't say you will have what you mean. No. He said you will have what you say. Hey. So even though you meant something else, yeah. what you said is what's going to produce. That's right. Amen. You see what I'm saying? That's like if you're going down the wrong road, uh, the wrong way, and the police pull you over, you say, man, I didn't intend to go this way. He ain't going to give you a ticket. He ain't going to judge you on what you intended to do. You're going to get a ticket on what you did. That's right. So you have to think before you talk. Amen. I'm telling you, you have to think before you act. Because mm -hmm. you have to make sure that we're trusting. We have to make sure we're trusting God. Amen. 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 Are y'all okay with that? All right. Amen. Amen.